Okay, everybody, this is 3B. Um, I had to change from open broadcast software to using Bandicam because for some reason it stopped working. Don't know why, don't really understand that. Okay, uh, let's play. That was requested, was all about the halflings, rogue, using partisan and wild magic. So what I'll do is I'll go through character creation. <coughs> Just wanted to point something out here, guys. Whatever settings you set on the map setup, the game remembers what you had the last time you had it. For example, if I put in underground three players, go next, blah, 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 then go back and start a new one, underground three players. It remembers what you were doing and how you set it up last time. That's for your basic settings. For the advanced settings, um, these are the default. I don't think it remembers what you did. Okay, um, think this is this is new here. This is something that is actually quite useful to show off, guys. All heroes rather resurgence. The default is never, but you can set it whatever you want, like that. Defender strength is normal. What we will do, guys, is at one point I'll show you how if you put the game speed to slowest, defender strength to very strong, and also start with a settler, you get something that vaguely approximates how the game of civilization would pan out so very slow turns and quite a slow unfolding game okay observe manual combat this is something that makes more sense when you come into a multiplayer game uh, basically what it means is you can have your manual combat without other people seeing what you're doing it does it, it basically stops the game completely it just means you don't see what the fight uh, what's going on in the fight All right, so keep that as it is and We'll start and we'll set. Okay, the last time I did a let's play, guys, we focused on the best looking goblin in the world. So we are now going to go for a halfling rogue. Um, got some dodgy eyes, so we'll keep that. Yeah, I like this. You can come up with your own backstory as to what exactly is going on with his eyes. Um, Look at this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gotta think of a name for this guy. Um Fat Nose. Okay. <laughs> Boss says we have to call him Fat Nose. His name is now Fat Nose. Alright, let's look at his facial hair, which is something that, you know, people wanted to have a look at. He has got a fat nose. <laughs> I love it though. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten options for facial hair for halflings. I'm going with that because it's just ridiculous. I wish they had an accessory where you could have a pipe, but unfortunately, depictions of alcohol and tobacco increase the rating so you can't get that he's obviously gonna have flowers in his hair even though he's a rogue yeah let's just roll with it and see what happens okay fat nose needs a new symbol I will right, we'll use the skull and we'll make his background white I think that works uh, scene two, posture close, one, two, three, one. Let's go with that. Okay, so this is the adventure of Fat Nose. Okay, day one, Chronicles of <laughs> Fat Nose. I can't keep a straight face. Ricky the Kidnapper, a rogue, this is great, a rogue, hiring a rogue, great. Okay guys, this is your usual start area, etc, etc. One thing I wanted to point out right now is, <clears throat> if you start with Partizan, okay, let's go look in the Tome of Wonders for Partizan. Uh, oh, great, okay. All uh, right, this is the long way around. You know what? Skills. Partisan. 
these are your five skills this is why it's only one it's one specialization pick you get five skills okay and they are folk hero guerrilla tactics so folk hero means cheaper units in the inns cheaper cities okay very useful guerrilla tactics basically if you want to annoy the hell out of your opponent okay um, you retreat and you can fight and you can retreat and you can fight okay your irregular infantry units gain the guerrilla ability so I'll go well, let me go through the rest and then we'll look what guerrilla actually does on your units all right hideout now this is very similar to the night wish ability that uh, rogues get a chance to reset so you can either look at it as redundant or you can look at it as you're doubling your chances to get something interesting okay war anthem now this is something that I think is going to be quite useful because uh, you know 11 resistance is quite a strong attack and if it checks that basically your enemy's morale is messed up and if you're fighting halflings they depend on their morale so that lucky can trigger so if you manage to get this working in the in in a tactical fight against halflings you're just going to wipe them out and the last one is partisan army okay someone on the forums noted that partisan gives you some concealment this is the concealment it gets but the catch is it's only when the unit is on its own okay so now the obvious thing is here you're getting concealed scouts okay you don't get this at the beginning of the game this is something that's going to kick in mid to late game but if you're the rogue or or a, or a theocrat that's flying invisible scouts i obviously don't need to tell you the use okay um folk hero talking about what you start with if you have this you always always start with folk hero okay so obviously this is going to be dependent on 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 how on what the random map generated uh, throws up for you. So for example, if I got an in there and I had a T3 unit, instead of it costing 340 gold, it's now going to cost me 200 and something gold. Okay. So obviously you can see the benefit there, but the drawback is you give up you give up a leader slot or a specialization small okay this is what guerrilla does retreating from combat does not drain the move points of this unit so you can attack with your irregulars right remember irregular and infantry attack do some damage retreat attack retreat attack retreat attack retreat just basically do whatever you want okay and again I, it's, it's going to be something one of those things that requires a little bit of finesse to use but I'm pretty sure it's going to be something quite useful because it does give you that little bit extra flexibility. All right, guys. So that's a very quick overview of halflings, specifically the moustaches, which is what someone was asking about. You also had a quick look at partisan. Okay, wild magic. I'll go through the spells. Okay, some of these you already know because of Tumbles. Tumbles' video? Tumble the video that Tumbles made that announced Golden Realms. Okay, warp equipment. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Swap locations. Now, this is probably my fav uh, favorite or second favorite spell here. Okay, basically, it lets, you, it lets you mess around with the other guy's battle formations. I used this once when I was playing a game against White Knighted and um, he, he had his trebuchet and I had I had my own T3 unit facing it. Uh, I think it was a, a knight, um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he had a couple of, he had four tier one units that were blocking access to his trebuchet. So the idea was his trebuchet could keep shooting and I'd have to go through the tier one units while suffering fire. I used swap locations which now put my damage dealing tier 3 in the middle of his tier 1 units and it put his trebuchet in the middle of my other units basically it made a fight that was sort of 50-50 who was going to win it it just handed me the fight straight away okay uh, summon lesser elemental this is something this is my favorite this is my favorite one a lesser elemental is summoned to the target location <clears throat> if you've seen the German preview of golden realms you will have noticed some of the lesser elementals are shown there I'll go through them in a minute but basically the key thing that you have to remember with this is that lesser elementals can evolve when they reach gold medal they become um, elementals daddy elementals adult elementals 
mummy elementals, great, whatever, uh, they become a they become the full version. And the good